twisted sisso in my coffee. <coughs> Hello! So, you probably noticed the last video in this series about these nitrogen steels. A little bit more subdued, you know, just getting some basics underway, you know, standard kind of edges, workshop, which is kind of my baseline, and then just a nice coarse, you know, standard kind of factory finish, 17 degrees. Just to refresh, uh, the Z-Finite steel has cut um, 230 with the workshop edge and was it 390 with the um, V-Ground 600 grit edge and the Vanax cut 300 with the workshop edge and 550 with the coarse edge. So big improvements just by narrowing it down, putting a V on it and maybe even by going to 600 grit, who knows. Today, however, we are going to go to the KME once again and we are going to mirror these knives. So mirror edges, um, high polish, high, you know, very refined uh, finish right on that cutting bevel. And we're going to see how that alters the performance of both Vanax Super Clean Steel and Z Finit, also known as LC200M. So mirror polish away. So I hope you found those numbers interesting. I certainly did. Um, we are going to uh, push them to the max next time. Um, but yeah, that's a very good result for that Vanax in particular and a comparable result to Spydeco's LC200N from the Z Finite. So 525 versus I think the Spidey Chef with its high polished edge at a slightly higher angle got a little bit further into the 500s. Maybe 560 or something, I can't quite remember. But um, yeah, impressive stuff. 680 cuts with the Vanex in uh, the polished edge. You know, that's approaching, say, like M4 with a coarse edge, which is, that, which is that steel's optimal conditions, in my opinion. So these are very impressive steels, especially considering that, and I haven't tested them yet, but they're probably not going to rust. Um, lastly, and I've already shot this part, so I can just speak about it normally, uh, is the 
a toughness testing, which I conducted. So just a little tiny bit of toughness testing. Um, it's a tricky thing to, you know, gauge in any sort of metric or using any sort of science or any repeatability or anything like that. But uh, I cut some challenging materials and to start with, I just whacked them against the edge of my workbench because even that, it's hardwood and remember, it completely ruined my American lawman. Even though I had that knife in its defense had a really steep Tormek edge on it. So, um, so yeah, I did that a bit and it was fi they were fine with them, no discernible loss. And then further with no discernible loss, I cut through some standard wiring. So some triple strand copper wiring that you would find like in a power cable or something similar. Uh, no discernible loss with either stills. And then I cut through some whippersnipper wire, which is a pretty nasty, it's plastic, but this stuff's designed to be smacked into, you know, garden edging beds and garden bed edging and all that sort of stuff and not break. So uh, you definitely wouldn't be able to cut it with, you know, your nail scissors, that's for sure. Um, so yeah, I did some of that and no discernible loss either with either steel. And then of course I moved up to some chicken wire that I'd found around the place and this stuff was galvanized. So not surprisingly to me, there was some, uh, some rolling on the point that uh, was you know, struck with the, the, the galvanized wire was being cut with. It obviously cut through the wire, but it did roll the edge up just a little bit. Uh, nothing that I won't be able to get out with either the Tormek or with the KME. Totally fine. Just of interest, I cut the same wire with the, the 3V on the Survive knife, and pretty much the same result happened as well. So uh, I wouldn't say it's like, you know, if the 3V had just flown through it with no issues, then I would have been a bit like, oh, they're a bit less tough than 3V, but. You know, it's not enough to not enough to really make a conclusion, just something I thought might be interesting. And lastly, something else that was really cool was that I just got my strop back on, and with the strop, I restored the edges that were cutting the rope, so the naturally dulled edges, just restored them to completely shaving sharp again, just as they were before the test began. So that was really cool to see as well, when you can do that with a steel. Not that the edge degradation was massive. As I always say, my edges aren't blunt by the time they've done the tests, so they're just not cutting paper anymore but I got them back to cutting paper effortlessly, just for the strop, so that was really cool too. So yes, uh, next time we're gonna be looking at the rust resistance, so I'll probably be doing some kind of bath overnight, and also the to the max testing, which just has to wait until my arm is a little less crazy sore. All right guys, hope you're enjoying this nitrogen series. Um, these definitely do seem like um, very capable, very competent steels, uh, and I'm very curious to see where they go from here. Alright, I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.